Ooh, hello. It's a stormy night outside, but we're going to talk more about Wall Street anyway. I read another book called The King of Capital. The remarkable rise, fall, and rise again of Steve Schwartzman and Blackstone by David Carey and John E. Morris. Mmm, it was very interesting. And this uh, is the flap of it. Strippers and flippers on a new positive force helping to drive the economy. The untold story of Steve Schwartzman and Blackstone, the financier and his financial powerhouse that avoided the self-destructive tendencies of Wall Street. David Carey and John E. Morris show how Blackstone and other private equity firms transformed themselves from gamblers and barbarians at the gate into disciplined, risk-conscious investors. The financial establishment, banks and investment bankers such as Citigroup, Bear Stearns, Lehman, UBS, Goldman Sachs, Merrill Lynch, Morgan Stanley, acted as cowboys, recklessly assuming risks, leveraging up to astronomical levels, and driving the economy to the brink of disaster. Blackstone is now ready to break out once again, since it is sitting on billions of dollars that can be invested at a time when the market is starved for capital. The story of a financial revolution, the greatest untold success story on Wall Street. Not only have Blackstone and a small quarter of comp competitors wrested control of corporations around the globe, but they have emerged as a major force on Wall Street challenging the likes of Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley for dominance. Blackstone, in fact, owns all or part of 51 companies, employing half a million people and generating $171 billion in sales every year. A great human interest story. How did Blackstone go from two guys and a secretary to one of Wall Street's most powerful institutions far outgrowing its much older rival, KKR. And how did Steve Schwartzman, with a pay packet one year of $398 million and $684 million from the Blackstone IPO, come to epitomize the spectacular new fortunes amassed in the 1990s and early 2000s? A controversial tale. Carey and Morris analyzed the controversies surrounding Blackstone and whether it and other private equity firms sucked the lifeblood out of companies to enrich themselves or whether they are a force that helps make the companies they own stronger and thereby better competitors. King of Capital is filled with never-before-revealed details about the workings of a heretofore secretive company that was the personal fiefdom of Schwartzman and Peter Peterson, providing the evidence for how Blackstone and private equity will drive the economy and provide a model for how financing will work in the future. David Carey is senior writer for The Deal, a news service and magazine covering private equity and mergers and acquisitions. Before joining The Deal, he was the editor of Corporate Finance Magazine and wrote for Adweek, Fortune, Institutional Investor, and Financial World. John E. Morris, now an editor with Dow Jones Investment Banker, was for many years an assistant managing editor at The Deal in New York and London, and before that was an editor and writer at the American Lawyer magazine. There's a couple of points I wanted to mention about it. One is, they speak of more gambling and something of religion in this book. 
The second one is about the religion. I'm not too sure. I can't remember exactly what it was out of some of the wild stuff I've read in here. But he said, as he came to the end of his description, that it was not a sin. So, does that mean they truly are mammon worshippers? Mammonite, mammonites? Is that their religion? Or could it be any other religion? Uh, some of this stuff didn't look right to me, but hey, it's going to take smarter people than me to read it and find out. You smarter about Wall Street and you haven't heard this story, I suggest you read it. Have a great night. I'm going to go watch the storm and see what it takes away. Night.